Hey guys, Lugia Master here, and today I'm going to be reading an MLP creepypasta. Today I am reading MLP Season 5, Episode 14, True Friendship. Now this appears to be a lost episode creepypasta, and I'm all for those kind of things. So without further ado, grab a drink, grab your friends, grab some popcorn, and let's get into this. Everyone has heard of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic at some point, regardless of whether or not they are a brony. I, of course, am a brony myself, and I have watched every episode, all the shorts, and all the EQG movies. While waiting for season 5, I'd been slowly drifting away from it, and was more focused on other stuff. When season 5 did eventually come out, I was excited and watched every episode that came out. I loved every episode despite its flaws. I especially loved the 100th episode, making it my favorite episode of all. However, recently the show decided to go on hiatus again during the middle of the season, and at the time I am writing this, it is still on its hiatus. I was very pissed off. Why would they suddenly go on a hiatus again after the long wait we had to go through? Most of my friends said it might have to do with the new EQG movie, but that won't excuse the fact that they recently showed the finale off at the convention, meaning that they could still make the other episodes. I went out of my way to find the reason behind it, but found nothing. However, I wish I could have just left that reason alone. One Sunday morning, I went on my computer and booted up Skype. I saw that one of my friends, whom I'll call Danny, messaged me an hour ago. Danny said he was horrified by what he saw. I was confused and asked him what he was talking about. He wouldn't say what he was talking about, so I asked him if I could see what he was talking about. It took me a few minutes until he finally gave in and gave me a media fire link to an episode. I was surprised by what I saw. It was named MLP FIM Episode 14 True Friendship. I asked him where he got this and he said he got it off of YouTube. Apparently, the video was almost instantly removed by Hasbro, but he managed to download it quickly. At the time, I thought a hacker must have hacked them or something because when I looked on YouTube, I found nothing of this episode. I thanked him, but he didn't respond back. His status was set on away, and I just thought he had to go somewhere. I then proceeded to open up the video, but I saw the episode was shorter than a normal episode. The average episode is about 22 minutes long, but here, it's about 16 minutes. I was confused for a moment, but then I thought maybe the hacker couldn't get the whole episode since it wasn't finished and had to upload what he had. I was also a bit doubtful this was an actual episode and was beginning to think this was some fan animation by some brony. I shrugged off the feeling and clicked play on the video. The first thing I noticed was there was nothing for the few, first few seconds until the intro with the theme song came up. I found it odd, but then I remembered it probably wasn't finished. The episode looked like it was filmed on a VHS tape, since the video and sound quality was bad. The intro was the same as the Season 1 intro, just without Twilight's library in the background. Regardless, the intro went by as normal until it ended. There was nothing again for a few seconds until it abruptly cut into the episode. It showed the front of Twilight's new castle for about 20 seconds. There was no sound or title card. It was just a still shot of the castle. It then cut to Twilight Sparkle laying on her bed crying. I'd never seen Twilight so depressed like this. In fact, the crying sounded like Tara Strong was actually crying. Pinky slowly walked up to her. She was not her normal happy self that I came to know and love. She asked Twilight what was wrong, and Twilight looked over at Pinky slowly. Spike is dead, she said. I was shocked by what she said. Not only it was the fact that a main character actually died, it was that they never talk about death directly. 
Fluttershy did say to Rainbow Dash that Tank was going to die if he didn't hibernate in Tanks for the Memories, but she didn't mention the word death or anything like that. Also, in Crusaders of the Lost Mark, Applejack hints that her parents are dead, but doesn't say the word death in any way. A picture flashed on the screen before it cut to the next scene, but I didn't attempt to see what it was since I can't pause it fast enough. The next scene showed Twilight silently walking down the road of Ponyville. She was not crying anymore, but she looked very depressed. Her cutie mark was gone, and there was still no sound other than the sounds of her hoof steps. There were no background ponies, and the background looked like it was drawn on a paper and used over and over again for the walk. The walk cycle lasted for about two minutes until the background changed to what it might look like in the show. Twilight stopped, and I noticed she was a bit grayer than before. The camera panned over to the destroyed library that T-Rex destroyed. It stayed like that for a minute until it cut to black. It stayed like that for about 10 seconds until cutting back to the castle. Fluttershy walked to Twilight's bedroom door and knocked on it. <clears throat> uh, um, Twilight? Can you come out here for a second, if that is okay with you? She said, unsure about this. At first, it sounded like there was no response until I heard muffling from the other side. I turned the volume up and kept listening to it. I heard Twilight repeating the words, Friendship is not magic over and over again. It sounded like she was going insane. Fluttershy was also hearing the same thing and slowly backed away scared. What kind of episode is this? I thought to myself. This is not for kids. The next scene showed Rainbow Dash in the sky, flying around in clearing clouds as normal until she stopped. She looked around looking very uneased as like she thought she was being watched. The camera switched to a different position as Rainbow Dash continued to look around, but now the sky was black. The clouds were still there, but the sky was black as if it was nighttime. Rainbow Dash then flew away off camera. The scene stayed like this for about a minute, giving me an unnerving feeling that there was something else to this scene. At the first few seconds, I saw a gray figure flying towards the camera. I looked more closely at the figure and I realized it was Twilight. She kept flying towards the camera until she was right up to it. It then cut to black with a faint buzzing heard in the background for about five seconds. There was then a still picture of Ponyville, looking like it was abandoned. The sky was black and there was the sound of wind in the background. It stayed on this for about 40 seconds until it cut to the front of Twilight's castle again, the sky still black. The scene changed to the inside of Twilight's castle, and the camera panned out, showing different rooms slowly. There was also a narration, but I get back on that in a bit. What I saw was horrifying. It showed the main six, except Twilight, all cut up and mutilated. They were all discolored as well, meaning they were dead. Each room had each character of the main five in them, as the camera panned slowly. The first room showed Pinky and Rainbow Dash lying on the ground. Pinky's head was gone, and nowhere to be found in the scene. She had cuts all over her body, and was bleeding cartoon blood. Rainbow Dash had her wings snapped, and she had a large gash on her chest. She was apparently hit by a cleaver in the head, which was the cause of her death. The second room showed Fluttershy, Rarity, and Applejack. Rarity had her jaw and horn broken off. There was a knife left deep within her eye. Applejack had her back legs torn off and had a gash on her head. There was a hole where her heart would be. Fluttershy had her wings ripped off, and looked like she was beat to death, having several stab wounds around her. I watched in horror, trying to resist the urge to puke. What the f 
fuck kind of episode is this? I said. As mentioned earlier, there was a narration going on in the background by Twilight Sparkle as the scene played out. I didn't catch on to what she said, and I didn't want to rewatch the scene. So I decided to go back earlier in the scene and minimize the video so I won't have to see the scene again. Dear Princess Celestia, Twilight said, words echoing around, friendship is not magic. I have been living a lie. True friend will be able to prevent such happenings. That was not the case for me. My true friends did not prevent what happened at all. Life is just a lie. In the end, your friends will just backstab you and leave. So here is the question. What is true friendship? I was tearing up slightly when she was done talking. I opened the video back up, and the camera was still panning slowly. It came up to one room where it showed the letter Twilight wrote. The camera then panned slowly to show Twilight hanging from a noose, dead. She had several cuts on her body and was also discolored. The camera stopped and stayed on Twilight's hanging body for the rest of the episode. I thought that wasn't the end, so I quickly skipped to the last few seconds of the episode. All it showed was just static. I went back to before the static happened. Twilight was still hanging from a noose, but there was one frame of a picture before cutting to static. I opened up a video editor so I can go through the frames. I decided to go to the first frame from earlier when Twilight was crying. It was a picture of Spike with both arms ripped off, his eyes gouged and heart torn out. The blood looked more detailed in this shot than the other from later. I once again resisted the urge to puke and skipped to the point to where it cuts to static. What I saw scared me. It was a picture of Twilight close up to the camera, looking like she was screaming and had realistic bloodshot human eyes. Surrounding the eyes were pure black, like staring into a void. She was still discolored, like she was still dead. My heart was pounding. I didn't know what to say. I quickly checked Skype and saw that Danny was back online. I was quick to ask questions on the episode. He responded saying that he knows the reason on why the episode was made. Apparently, Hasbro hired a new writer for the show, but the writer was insane and didn't believe in friendship, and then went on to writing an episode about it. The guy was also an animator, which is how he managed to animate the episode. The voice actors had no idea what they were getting into when they were voicing for the episode. Everyone at Hasbro rejected his episode idea once the new writer showed the script. He was still on to animating the episode and upload it to YouTube. Hasbro was quick to take it down, but the man was nowhere to be found shortly after the video was taken down. I am still in shock of what I just saw. I still wish I would have never found out on why they would suddenly go on a hiatus. I still have the video on my hard drive. I am unsure if I am going to upload it on YouTube. Now, this was an interesting story. There were very cliche parts to it, and I think some of it should have been left out or written differently. But other than that, this was a really enjoyable read. And I hope you guys enjoyed the reading as well. So, without further ado, if you guys like this video, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creeper Cat Army. I will see you later, recruits. Peace out.